am trying to have a chill day. I am trying to work on my YouTube videos, especially my autumnal lookbook one. But I'm also wanting to do like 10 things at once right now. Oh, my mind is just going a thousand times a moment. Also, I'm just dissociating really heavily. Just giving you guys an update and have another appointment on Friday. Obviously, this is not the final Halloween look, but this is what it looks like when it basically just first came out of the bag. And it's so cute and I love it. My eyebrows are too dark as well, so I'm going to have to do way different makeup. But I am absolutely adoring this wig so far. It is so cute. Today is covered in mist all over the place or fog. Which kind of matches my mood. So I feel myself starting to come out of that hypomanic state. I'm having less of that mood energy than before and a little less like, pumped up than I was before too. So I'm curious to see if this is just a dip in hypomania or if I'm actually gonna go through the full cycle and be heading back down into a depressive episode. Cross my fingers that it's just a little dip. Hey y'all, Thursday update. So last night I saw some pics that um, definitely got me triggered. One of my really good friends and I, one time we went to the mall. Since she was homeschooled and I didn't have like a good friend that I wanted to go to like the school dance with, we went to the mall together in like prom dresses and like we're basically being princesses. Um, and I lost her as a friend at one point, just kind of got ghosted, which was really sad and I was really upset about it for a long time. But since I saw a picture of like somebody else doing something similar last night, like I just got triggered from that. So I just had that like sad lingering today. I wanted to cry pretty easily about stuff um, and also just some like bad memories. We're then able to make it more towards the surface because of it dissociated through most of the day so that was always a fun time just being like shifted slightly out of yourself otherwise it was like really hard for me to sit still and just like stay put for the whole day it's just like frisky frenetic just like too much energy where it's hard for me to focus so i'm just glad we got through it and uh got home and gonna go open my package I wrote everything down on a little sticky note for my reference so when I can have my appointment tomorrow, then I can make sure that I address everything. Look who's getting better at finding ways of trying not to forget stuff. Ooh. Uh, we started opening this because I um, thought it was something else. But I think it's finally here. I'm so excited. It's the cardigan. It's the cardigan. I literally had this song stuck in my head all day long. And I was having such a rough day. And now it's here. These are happy and sad tears, like at the same time. Nostalgia, oh, it's perfect. I'm so happy, y'all. Therapy is really helpful. Again, I really strongly recommend if you're struggling to look into therapy. Um, she really helps me process what had been triggering me lately. Again, my one of my good friends ghosting me a while back. Uh, but I almost cried because it was that that really made me go through. Also, it's just been really helping me get through like dissociating too. I'm just like recognizing when I'm having like other dissociative times or parts of myself that are kind of more forward and or like in the limelight and like recognizing like, okay, like work self is here, but is it appropriate to have work self at grocery shopping time? A very like, loose example but i've also never had somebody go through some uh treatment explanation with me like that before 
Hi y'all, just got out of my rejuvenating bath and while I was in my bath I thought of the idea that I'm gonna do songs that have been useful to me in mental health struggles such as, or specifically, 21 Pilot songs because they have a lot of songs that I feel relate to mental health and mental illness. I'm really excited for that idea and I can't wait to share with y'all. Holy guacamole, I didn't realize this the other day because I was in a rush, but when I upped my Lamotrigine, this thing is huge, it's like the size of my fingernail. <laughs> Before it was like the size of like one of those flowers. Oh. A hack on how to make taking your meds more fun is a shot glass, fill, fill it with water, throw them back. <laughs> I woke up feeling very neutral, so I'm very a bit apprehensive to see how this day and the rest of the days are gonna go moving forward. Seeing how, seeing as bipolar is something that cycles. Okay, so now we're getting to a little bit of frustration point in treatment. As we raise medication doses, of course it gets more expensive. The Arit Paprazol is like 30 bucks after insurance. And that's like a lot. I don't want to pay $30 for a med. So I've been trying to find like coupons that my pharmacy will accept. And then I have to, now I have to call my insurance company to see what other pharmacies are close by that might have better deals or if they can help recommend me a supplemental medication. I did try to call my doctor's office and ask about it but he was just like you need to continue taking this med like try these XYZ types of coupons. Best of luck to us otherwise the other medications that we take since I like doubled the dosage, of course the price for those doubled too. Maybe it was kind of silly for me not to expect it, but I didn't really expect that. And I'm a little uh, apprehensive because my prozosin isn't really working for my nightmares anymore. Like they're starting to return even though we upped the dosage on that, so. It's cold and the pandemic is hitting different today. Once I realized that it's been going on for like half of a year now. Uh, sucks. Uh, try not to cry, I've wanted this to be over, of course, for so long and I think, you know, everybody has. Today it's just, it's hitting harder. Stay safe, mask up keep your distances unfortunately <laughs> I'm making a like a pandemic relation playlist so I'll link that but um let's all just hope this is over soon maybe I just hit the more depressive episode maybe I don't know <laughs> maybe that's why the pandemic is hitting differently today comfort food her husband, he's so good at helping take care of me, especially when I'm feeling down. Husband again was really good at comfort and cheering, so basically he was like sleeping in and then when he got up I told him about how I was feeling and so he was like, let's get some good food. And then and we cuddled and talked and now I'm gonna take a nice little nap with the dog. <laughs>